Sometimes, when you're looking for a dragon, it can be so frustrating it turns into a hunt for an inspired screenshot location. With this guide, let's take that out of the equation and get right into the action of the dragon hunt. The dragon we are hunting today is located in the Hissing Wastes, a giant desert added on after unlocking operations in the Forbidden Oasis. Near the tomb of Pharrell, Pharrell, however you want to pronounce it, also found by completing a quest of similar name in the region. The first path I took was simply to bypass the rift there and a few other enemies in order to maximize the amount of potions I had on hand while fighting the dragon. Here we are, right before the entrance of the tomb of Pharrell, sleeps this massive baddie. Oh yes, he knows he's a badass, look at him. He's just sleeping, not even giving a damn, we're here to kill him. So let's take a step back and do all we can to prepare ourselves for a hell of a fight. First off, let's start with examining the dragon through the tactical paws to view its strengths and weaknesses. You'll notice this puppy is level 20. Right off the bat, we can see by this that he will have insane health use the guard ability multiple times. We are in for a long fight. It also has a high resistance to fire. Lo and behold, we can tell it's a fire dragon with weaknesses to cold abilities. So from all that, let's hit the tonic table and prepare ourselves for a long fight. Let's start with tonics. As I covered before, this is a fire dragon. Thus, you're going to want the fire resistance tonic to help you save some frustration. I highly, highly recommend upgrading the duration of your tonic to its max. We've already established this will be a long fight, so you'll want your tonics to last as long as they can. Now to your potions. This dragon will be dealing massive amounts of damage to your party. You can negate some of this damage, but you'll still be absorbing quite a lot. All of your potions should be highly upgraded by now, but the one I will emphasize is the regeneration potion. It has a nice little upgrade called proximity heal, healing all characters near the one that used the potion. This is a huge advantage due to the fact you'll be taking a lot of damage. Surprise, surprise, this fire dragon will spew fire at you. you reach the party members below its chest, so when it gears up to unleash this, push your party members closer to the middle or back portion of the dragon while staying underneath it. This dragon will use guard abilities, causing it to get an extra large bar to smack at up there. Three characters with gear or abilities that focus on doing massive amounts of damage to guard. This can make or break a battle. Dragon will flap its wings in a tantrum, causing an area of effect circle blowing wind all over the place that will suck party members in and damage them over time. The only way to get away from this is if you have party members far enough away before it starts. There are a couple hints, but not that many. The best you can do is throw down barriers and more guard and just deal with it and keep counting on the Or daddy dragon. I 
unleashes a stunning howl that will also call in anywhere from one, two, or sometimes zero dragon eggs. Waiting its struggle, be prepared to divert some party members from the main battle to deal with these before they throw off your pace. Another high dragon down and one step closer to that achievement. I hope these tips will help make you the expert dragon slayer you have always wanted to be. This is Chaos Thunker from Team Chaos Spectrum and thank you for watching. If it helped, slay that like and subscribe button. Take it easy guys.